Welcome to a new season where we discover from a prophetic and messianic perspective the call and destiny that God has on our lives. I'm your host, Kim Boleyn. Join me as we take practical steps into a new season together. If you want to experience miracles and God's best plan for your life, then you are at the right place and at the right time. Isn't it time for a new season? Hello, everyone. This is Kimball Lynn, and welcome to my podcast, A New Season. I say that every week, don't I, guys? <laughs> but I really do welcome you to my podcast. Okay, guys, as usual, you know the scoop. Let's start with prayer. Father, in the name of Yeshua, oh, God, help me. <laughs> oh, Father, I just thank you, God, that you're so faithful and you're so good to us. And you help us with everything that we need, God. I thank you, Father, that you're in control of everything, even when everything seems out of control. And I am so thankful for that, God. I just want to worship you and praise you right now, God, for your faithfulness. And God, I thank you that you're opening up each one of our hearts to really hear what you want us to hear right now. And in this season, Bashem Yeshua, in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Okay, guys, it's spring in North Carolina. Whoopee! Oh, boy. But with that comes bugs and more bugs. And I'm sick of bugs. <laughs> I don't like bugs, guys. I really don't. Oh, my goodness. And I am dealing with these little tiny black bugs. I don't know what they're called. They're smaller than an ant. I mean, they're small, small, small. They're not lice. They're not ants. I don't know what they are. They're just little tiny black bugs that are like the plague right now. And I am so sick of them. They were there last summer. And I was spraying at first with bleach water. That is not a good idea because it was, oh my gosh, I was dying from the fumes. And then I started using lemon water, which was better, but it didn't work real well. So now I'm using essential oils, and when I first did it, it was at the end of the year, so they seemed to disappear right away. I thought, oh, this stuff really works. But I am still dealing with them, even with my essential oils now, and I'm going, God, please, please, please get rid of these bugs for me. I don't want to deal with these anymore. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't even tell you how awful it is. (laughs) Oh my goodness, I'm just so done. And on top of it, they have what's called wood ants. Well, on the West Coast, we used to call them carpenter ants. But over here, they call them wood ants. And a friend of mine gave me some diatomaceous earth. So I put some of that on the outside of my door. And that seems to have really helped. And the ones that do come in seem to be dying. Because the diatomaceous earth just takes off the top layer. And then they just get exposed to the elements and they die. So. It seems to be working, so I'm very thankful for that. But I am so done with these little black bugs, guys. I can't even tell you. You know, guys, I would really appreciate your prayers in that. Just please agree that these bugs go away. (laughs) I mean, really, in the name of Yeshua. Well, So let's just pray about that right now. Father, we just thank you, God, that you're in control of the animals. You're in control of the bugs. You're in control of the elements. You're in control of the plants and everything else. So, Father, you're in control of these bugs. And so, Father, I just ask that you would just get the bugs out of here, get them away into the woods and keep them there, and don't let them come back into this house in Yeshua's name. Thank you, Father. We take authority over these things, and I command these bugs to leave in Yeshua's name. Amen. I'll keep you posted on this one, guys. (laughs) But for the last couple of days, I have been going through a really tough time. I mean, I had something happen that was not fun, and it was a family thing, and it was just from the pit of hell. And so it sent me reeling for a couple days, and I was just praying through it. My heart really hurt. And, you know, it's like, God, how do I get out of this? How do I overcome this? So I really needed prayer. So I put a little message on Facebook to say, help, guys, I need prayer. And, you know, people started praying. And at first, I felt it just lift a little bit, but it did start lifting. And I was so thankful. Thank you, God. And then I usually go to this little group of intercessors. And boy, let me tell you guys, 
It really broke. I'm so thankful because I was not dealing with it very well. And I really just need to stay close to the Lord right now because it's not fun. You know, guys, none of us are Lone Rangers. Well, at least we shouldn't be. I don't like being a Lone Ranger. I don't do well when I'm isolated, and the enemy loves that. He tries to isolate us so he can attack us. You know, like when you see on National Geographic on those things in Africa with the wildebeests and things like that, and they'll wait for the weak one to drag and lag behind in the herd or a baby. You know, just the ones that are the innocent victims. They'll wait for those, and then the lions or the hyenas or whoever, they attack the weak link. And that's how it is with the enemy. He waits until we're at a vulnerable place, and then he tries to come in. And he really tries to put these assignments on us that will really try to destroy us, to kill, steal, and destroy. That's what he does for his job anymore. And so we need to learn to be warriors. We need to learn to take the word and to speak it out into the atmosphere and to take authority over our circumstances. Now, when we're at a weak place, that makes it really hard. So we need the body to help us, to come around us, to pray for us, to lift us up, to love on us, so that we can get strong again to go out and do warfare. It's like the wounded warriors. You know, they're out in the battlefield, they get wounded, and so they go and grab them, pull them off, get them well, and then they go out and do battle again. God wants us to be in a body of believers that really help keep us strong, really help protect us, really help keep us in prayer, and really encourage us to be the best we can be. That's for each and every one of us. And if you don't have that body of believers around you, I really encourage you guys to find one. You need to find that body of believers that will really encourage you, that will really hang in there with you that will be there for you when you really need it. And then you'll be there for them when they need it. It really helps each and every one of us, guys. We need each other so desperately at times, but we really do need each other. So I am so thankful for the group of people that I know and the other groups of people that I'm with and the intercessors that I've been introduced to. It really has made a huge difference in my life. God wants us to go forward and be warriors in this time. That is the call for this season, is to rise up mighty warriors. I got a vision even today when the intercessors were praying for President Trump. And the Lord just showed me that we have a season that God is rallying the troops. That's the word I got, rallying the troops. And that he's bringing them together into the army that he wants us to be in these last days. And we have a period of time where he's doing that right now, because in this next season, when it gets really dark in the world, we're going to be the light in the darkness. And guys, we're going to shine really bright in the name of Yeshua. And also, I am really encouraging myself right now. I'm encouraging myself with the word. I'm encouraging myself with praying in tongues. I'm encouraging myself being around other believers that will pray with me and pray for me. It just has really made a big difference. Plus, I've got a bunch of books that were given to me on living my destiny. (laughs) I noticed one was in there by Bobby Connor, so I'm really excited about reading that one. But I need to keep educating myself too, guys. We don't want to just do the beginning steps and stay stagnant. We want to grow in this. We want to move toward our destiny. We want to have different ideas. We want to have different downloads so that God can give us strategies on how to move forward. We really need to just keep learning, keep grabbing the information, keep moving on it, keep acting on it. Faith without works is dead, guys. So we have to really keep moving. It's real easy to get frustrated or discouraged or complacent where we kick back for a day or two. I'm just going to watch a movie tonight. I'm just going to kick back and do nothing. I'm just going to listen to some music or whatever. And those are not necessarily bad things, guys. But when you're moving toward your destiny, it can be time wasters. 
they can eat up time, and then after a while you just go, wow. I was looking on the YouTube statistics on how much I'm on YouTube, because I listen to a lot of prophetic ministries. It can be a good thing, but man, it was like over 28 hours <laughs> in a week, and I'm going, that's over a day. And many times for me, it has been a good thing because I'm listening to people like Kevin Zadai, Bobby Connor, Doug Addison, Ryan Lestrange. There's just a lot of different prophets that I'm listening to right now. And I'm really gleaning from what their experience has been. I'm really gleaning from their knowledge and their wisdom. I really need what they have right now. And so I really listen to it. And then a lot of times what I'll do is at night, I'll put on It's Supernatural with Sid Roth. And I'll just put it on really low. And I'll just play that all night long while I'm sleeping. My spirit's picking up what my natural mind isn't. Even while I'm sleeping, the word is getting in there. The miraculous is getting in there. The miracles that they're talking about are getting in there. Even as I sleep, I try to have the word constantly there, going into my spirit so that it changes me. Now, I know when I was in Washington State, when I first moved up from Colorado, I was so tired and so beat up from circumstances. (laughs) And so when I was resting and recuperating and being restored from the Lord, The one thing that I did is I prayed in tongues a lot, but also I just put on It's Supernatural. When I was home, I played it 24-7. I just played it and played it and played it and played it and played it. And when I went to sleep, it was on, and I'd wake up and David Herzog would be saying something, and I'd go, oh, man, that's perfect. And I would go to sleep, and then maybe I'd wake up again. Another person would be on there, and I'd go, oh, man, that's perfect. And then I'd go to sleep. And then I'd wake up again, and then I'd go, oh my gosh, that's perfect. So I used to wake up at these perfect times. (laughs) I knew it was God-ordained. That happened to me all the time. And in six months, when I was looking back at everything, I noticed that something had shifted in me. Something had changed. So getting the word in us constantly is a good thing. And so if you're watching YouTube or listening to music, make sure you get the word in you guys. It's really important. Or read your Bibles, read your Bibles, read your Bibles. So read your Bibles, guys. Anything you can do just to encourage yourself, anything you can do to grow in what God wants you to become, living toward your destiny, it is really important. I know I say that all the time, but we need to be growing in who God created us to be. And in order to do that, we need to be taking those steps and moving forward. Now, if you're running into some frustrating times or you're discouraged and you want to give up, take a step back, take a deep breath. Come on, breathe in with me. Breathe out. And say, God, what am I missing? (laughs) Go to the Lord and say, God, something's not clicking here. I'm tired or I'm frustrated and I don't get it. I'm missing something that's not working here. Just talk to the Lord about it and let him give you strategies and downloads on how to correct things. Go to my website at www.kimbolin.com. Send me a message and say, hey, I'm running into this. If I don't know the answer, guys, I'll help you find it. We can do this together because we're growing together. We're working together. We're moving toward our destinies together. It's really helpful to be with somebody else and to have somebody else be your cheerleader when you're moving toward the things that God's created for you. Because if you think the enemy, who is Satan, Satan, is going to just sit by and let you go on your merry way, oh my gosh, you got another thing coming. Just be aware that when there are attacks and obstacles, that God already has an answer, that God already has overcoming power, that God is going to make you strong and victorious through each one of those things, And you're going to be able to encourage others with the same things that God has encouraged you with. In the name of Yeshua, do you have to maybe go back to the previous step and go, did I miss something in that previous step? Did I do anything sloppy? Was I lazy about doing the steps that I needed to do? Because you can't be haphazard at this, guys. You can't do it half-heartedly. You got to give it 100%. You got to be willing to go the second mile. You got to be willing to do the work. 
and most people aren't willing to do the work. That's why they just stay stuck. And I don't know about you. You guys have heard me say this before. I don't do stuck. I don't do same old, same old. But you know what? I'm like you guys. I get tired too. Sometimes I just look at the Lord and go, can I go home now? (laughs) I'm tired of this king, God. I just want to pick up my ball and go home. You know what? I get it, guys. Sometimes we just need a break. So if you're really kind of burnt out, that probably means you haven't taken enough breaks. You haven't taken enough time off. During the week, at least take one day, and Sabbath is always a good day for that, to just rest, enjoy the Lord, go out for a drive, have a picnic, take your Bible, or just sit there and let the wind blow in your face. Take a deep breath and just commune with the Lord. Oh, doesn't that sound good right now, guys? (laughs) Oh, I could just visualize just sitting on a mountainside and just letting the breeze blow through my hair, blow in my face, and just sit there and listen to the Lord's voice. Oh, sounds like a perfect scene right now. (laughs) Make sure you take breaks, guys, throughout the week. Take one day off. Be nice to yourself. Don't burn yourself out because it's better to take steady steps towards your destiny than it is to do this sprint where you're all fired up and you run, 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 run. And then you get burnt out and tired and you go, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. And that's what a lot of people do. They get really excited and then they start running and then they get burnt out quickly and then they give up. And you don't want to give up, guys. You want to keep going. That's why it's really good to have like-minded people around you, have cheerleaders, have intercessors, have people around you that can say, hey, you can do this. Don't stop. Come on. You can do this. I'll hang on your hand. Come on. I'll pull you. I'll kick you in the tush. I'll do whatever it takes. Hey, we just need friends that are going to stick with us to the end until we reach our goals because you'll be able to help them to do the same things. Amen. So it's time to bless you guys. Yivarechacha Adonai v'yish merecha. Ya'er Adonai panavalecha v'chunecha. Yisa Adonai panavalecha v'yasim lacha shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you, and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his shalom. You guys, go and have some fun once in a while. As you go on your journey toward your destiny, make sure, like that old saying says, to stop and smell the roses. Make sure you do something that you can clear your mind out, that you can refresh your body, that you can enjoy your family, that you can enjoy time with the Lord. Make sure you do things for yourself along the way because it makes it just more enjoyable. Have an awesome week, guys. And we'll talk to you next week. Shalom. Thank you for joining me for this week's episode of A New Season. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter or visit my website at kimbolin.com. Join us next week as we continue to pursue our dreams and discover our destiny. It's time to enter into a new season.